The staff profile in HelpSpot allows you to adjust a number of settings regarding your individual login into HelpSpot. Let's go ahead and edit a few of these settings and I'll point out some of the high points inside of this screen. I'm just going to go ahead and click on my name and then click on preferences and that will take me to the staff preferences page for my account. As you can see I have some basic contact information here. I can upload an image that will show up as my avatar and then I can start to set up some of my communication settings. I'll just point out a few of the uh, settings that you might be most interested in here. First off we have the out of office status. Now out of office allows us to send requests to another individual or back to the inbox when we are out of the office. So say you're going on vacation, I can go ahead and mark my out of office status to be uh, forwarding requests back to the inbox. Then whenever a request that I am assigned is sent into HelpSpot, it will uh, forward that request back to the inbox. Now if you have a particular individual who backs you up when you are out of the office, you can also choose to send those requests over to that individual automatically. The next setting we should look at is the email signature. And this function is very similar to the email signature inside of a regular email program like Outlook or Google Apps, something like that. We have two versions of the email signature that you're going to want to set up. The first one is the text version. This is just a plain text version uh, that's included whenever a plain text email is sent out of HelpSpot. The other tab is going to be the HTML version. The HTML version allows for formatting. So we can do things uh, like putting links, setting uh, bold and italic fonts, uh, things like this. If you need some help with uh, how to format this area, you can click on the formatting options and we have some quick tips on how to add the most common things that you might want to put into a signature. If you want to see the complete syntax, you can click on this link right here. Whenever you're done entering your signature, you can always preview it and make sure that your signature looks the way that you want it to. Down in the notifications setting, we have a few settings that you might want to pay attention to. First option here is just send notifications via email. This is the default setting for HelpSpot. And this just means that whenever a request that you are assigned to has an update, we're going to go ahead and send you a notification. You can also choose to turn on notifications to other contact points, such as your alternate email or even SMS text messages. And then finally, we have this setting down here, and this allows us to notify you whenever a new unassigned request comes into HelpSpot. So by default, a new requests coming into HelpSpot are going to come into the inbox and not be assigned to anyone. And you won't get a notification for those items because you aren't assigned to that particular request. However, if you turn this setting on, you will then get notifications whenever those new requests come into the inbox. Finally, down here we have a number of different preferences, uh, mainly surrounding how HelpSpot looks and works for you as a staff member. So you can do things like turning on and off the WYSIWYG editor, uh, setting whether you want to have your notes default to public or private when you are working inside of HelpSpot. Once you're done adjusting your settings, you can simply click on Save Staffer. And now your new settings will be in place.